presented by Church Tech U. It's the ProPresenter Show. On today's show, what's new in ProPresenter 7.12? Hi, and welcome again to the ProPresenter Show. This is the show where I teach you all about ProPresenter. My name's Paul Allen Clifford. And before we get started, why don't you join the over 10,000 other people who have subscribed, liked, even leave, left a comment on this video. Well, not this video, but some of my videos. So, one of the exciting things that happened, um, well, as I'm recording this last week, um, actually a week ago today in the beta group that I'm a part of, they announced ProPresenter 7.12. Then it was released uh, to the public, uh, something that was announced, well, also in a group of mine. Um, the beta group isn't mine, it's Renewed Visions, but anyway. Uh, and that is ProPresenter 7.12. So I thought that today we'd go over just kind of a high-level overview of the new features that they added and then go from there uh, and in future tutorials I'll dive arms and elbows into what each of those brings to the table. So let's head over to my computer and we'll take a look. So <coughs> Excuse me. Here we are in ProPresenter 7.12, and you should actually already know one of the things that's here if you're paying attention. Uh, let me actually do this real quick, and it might be a little harder to tell, but right here you might notice, wait, I think I can see something through that right there. Also the same thing right there. If I head back over to the computer you can see it right here. And that first thing is text effects. So in 7.11 they added background effects that enabled you to do some kind of cool stuff. Well they've expanded on that to text effects in ProPresenter 7.12. So that's kind of an exciting thing that they've added into the mix. Um, next, they have also added the ability to do CCLI auto reporting. So if we go into ProPresenter settings, because I'm on Ventura if you're on an earlier version of Mac OS, or it might be this way in the Windows version. I haven't booted into Windows in a while. Um, it might be preferences, but anyway, if you go in there and go to general, you'll see this looks normal, but if you click on reporting here, there's a new checkbox, and I'll show you how to use that in a future one as well. Um, <clears throat> a couple other things, if you have been holding off on upgrading to 7.11 because you are on Apple Silicon and you use Resi. Here, let me go to capture settings here. And you use Resi. Well, there was a problem with 711 and Apple Silicon Max, like the M1 or M2, etc., that Resi would not work with those. Well, with 712, it does. Also, they have. Again, something Mac specific. They've enabled hardware acceleration for ProRes file types. So that should be something helpful as well. There's other bug fixes and other things in there. But that is a lot of the changes, updates, new features, etc. added in ProPresenter 7.12. If you like this content, you'd probably like my ProPresenter 7 Quick Start course. So head on over to tdm.fyi slash pro 7 quick. Give me your name and email address, and I'll make a login for you for free. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford from TrinityDigitalMedia.com and ChurchTechU.com reminding you to go out and change eternity. <laughs>